Hey guys, what's up Taurus? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can be reversed, so do what I need to. Also remember, it's a general reading, so just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. And if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. There's some type of... Um, it's, it's kind of like a conflict of energy, but it could have been like an argument, some drama, a quarrel, but it also could just be like a conflict of energy, like things aren't really progressing. So it kind of feels like the, the, only, the major energy there was um, not really making an effort. Sorry, I'm trying to get my hair out of my face. Uh, pulled back. Um, it's almost like a transitional energy, but the transition isn't really there. It's not taking place. So <clears throat> instead, it's leaving things at a standstill. Immediate future for Taurus, please. Yeah, that could be why. Unless you're dealing with a Capricorn. You got the devil, the queen of pentacles, the chariot, cancer, energy. Kind of game changers, though. You're right here in the middle of it all. You could be dealing, like I said, cancer, Capricorn. But, um... You have pretty powerful energy that's like surrounding it. So energetically, it's kind of like creating like this, but it starts off like slow and then gets faster. All right, let's see what's going on. We got the Five of Cups, the King of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Swords. Okay, well, this is a, um, a single energy kind of healing. Not a lot has been moving things at a standstill a lot unseen unknown but um it feels like this energy this king of cups there's some regret or something around this energy like that it's not being shown and somehow it's like they're embarrassed around something let's clarify and see okay show me the devil the two of swords kind of like what we've been saying the whole time the devil the two of swords the hangman this can go so many ways uh pisces energy here but again things are at a standstill so if this isn't another person like within self this could be like a lot of procrastination or holding on to something kind of waiting around but things aren't happening for others this could have to do with like I mean, whatever, whoever this is, things are at a standstill, like just sitting there waiting, but nothing's happening. For some, this can be like within self, like not taking action with the hangman there. Um, there could also be like something that you're not seeing as far as like a perspective. Because it feels like it's around some type of communication or something moving forward. Give me one more on the hangman, the lovers. Gemini energy. This is not my favorite type of energy. This just keeps things stuck. We hold on to something, but there's like this blockage type energy. So a couple of things I want to show you. It does feel like this is something or someone that you cut out. You walked away. Nobody's taking action. Nobody's been moving, right? So when it comes though to this world, which is about like that closure, it hasn't been happening. One interesting thing though is, um, when you have the devil and the hangman here, or sorry, the devil, the devil and the lovers, you can kind of see like on both, it's two energies here, and then it's an energy in the middle. Um, over here with the chariot, it's really cool that the chariot pulls through because you still have that. You have two energies here and one here, but like these are, it's just, it's more of a, the, the, the chariot and the seven is about moving forward and getting on track. So... Let's just keep going. It looks like there's been some anger that's here. Um, Alright, let's just see. Show me this Queen of Pentacles, please, for Taurus. 
So with the Queen of Pentacles um, coming in as the obstacle, the Queen of Pentacles is your energy. But uh, it's a good energy. But with this type of energy here, the Queen of Pentacles can be like the rock, the one that holds it down. But it looks like you walked away. Set boundaries and set limitations. However, because it's coming across as the obstacle, somebody may not have done that. The Queen of Pentacles or the, those that like deal with that energy like can really hold on can kind of just wait even when a situation is kind of like fizzled so this could be you holding on to someone or, or someone holding on to you this could also be like an addiction or like a thought process procrastination this over here is stuck but this is coming across and the obstacle doesn't have to be negative but you walked away you pulled back set boundaries set limits saturn energy like not doing no more not doing none of this like in a circle that, that's kind of this energy but over here with the two of swords like this is supposed to be closure and it's not there again this could be the person that you're dealing with but i mean this this is somebody who's still contemplating things this could be like a decision is very possible that never got made like just waiting 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 this could be anything from also like an addiction, a codependency, something like that. All right, so show me the chariot, please, for the outcome for Taurus. You got the chariot, which is Cancer energy, and you have the hermit, which is Virgo energy. What's happening now is um, what I call hermit mode. Walk away, take time to reflect. And these are pretty like powerful energies. The chariot and the or, yeah, the chariot and the hermit there. You got the nine of swords and the five of swords. What in the okay. Um some stubborn energy. Uh it is a time of like setting boundaries within this, but somebody is kind of like when it comes to walking away and creating change and like allowing that transitional energy, somebody gets really nervous and in their head. Which is, you know, I, I mean, especially around earth energy, change has to take time. So, uh, could be dealing with a Virgo or just kind of worry about how things are going. But this is all about, this is good energy. Setting limits, setting boundaries. Um, but also around that, I don't think this is necessarily your energy. I see you as kind of this, this energy here. In the five of swords there can come jealousy there can come resentment that's there so with you up here kind of pulling it away and setting these boundaries show me that five of swords who is that and the reason i bring it up is because we started with this devil and lover so it, it goes back to the two energies i was talking about and then one kind of calling the shots and sometimes i can be within self can I see the five of swords, please? Sometimes it can be our own stubbornness. This, this can be a, a pretty, this is not an energy that just always lets go easily. It's more of a loyal, sometimes self-sabotage to hold on. So, we got the ten of wands. I mean, you're making major changes here. And with that, it takes a lot of hard work and determination. So around that, for the outcome, this is going to bring a lot of anxiety. If you're traveling or make sure your car is like, up, if you've been like avoiding something and maybe that's what this procrastination is, especially if you're going on a trip, get that checked. Um, but it's like you're walking away, there's change here, and there's also a lot of, Oh, this this is a lot of anxiety and this takes a lot of perseverance and, and you know kind of oomph but um, take that time for introspection it'll be really important because that's about like being completely honest with yourself is key but remember where you've been where you're trying to go change is never easy especially for earth energy the three of swords i don't it, it, 
I'm not necessarily sure if this is your energy because you're here at the bottom with the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles. And you got somebody down here who is just, you're walking away and this energy is all kinds of worry. Why is all this stress here? Who is this? Queen of Cups. Could be a water sign. This is somebody who's trying to hold on, like I said, the whole time. But it looks like you're kind of going your own way. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, wow. I mean, you're definitely ending a situation here. And it doesn't look like it's your energy over here. It could be. But somebody is taking it, like, losing because uh, it's coming across like you're 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 taking time, like I said, but there's also this introspective introspective energy, and you're setting boundaries, doing you and what you need to do, and there is just this is a lot of stress. The eight, nine, and ten of swords with the five of swords. Somebody may not want to let you go that easily. Let's look at the um. What's the love energy, energy around Taurus? Not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. You also have ascending, of transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. But you also have hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. And that looks like exactly what you're trying to do. But it does feel like there's there's like this, the way we started with the lovers and the devil and kind of going into that, that same energy, that looks like is who is over here stressing. Like you're walking away, setting boundaries, and somebody's really struggling with that. You have love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Alright, Taurus, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that is below as well. You guys take care, and I will see you next time.